Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Here we are going to discuss about smart water supply system that is modeling and simulation to control and monitor the tanks inputs and outputs. Here this video represents the water supply system examples depicts a simplified model of a water supply system consisting of three pumping stations and a tank. The system is designed to deliver water from the pumping stations to the tank which is located at a higher elevation. This simulation aims to determine the steady flow rate, uh, steady state flow rates and pressure in the systems. Let us see the model. This is a simulated model. It shows there are uh, in this side you can see there are uh, four tank stations are there. Tanks, tank station 1, tank station 2, tank station 3, tank station 4. Okay, here there are three pumping stations are sir. One pumping station 1, pump station 2, pump station 3. Here is mentioned the heights. Six, uh, there is a pumping station 1 is 60 meter and second one is a 45 and third one is a 40 meter height. Here the scope represents the flow rate, steady state flow rate for is each and every place. Here these are the pipes are there, here water properties and these are all the pipes and pipe pump stations and fluid properties are available, available from MATLAB Simulink toolbox that is Simscap fluid toolbox. Here you can get the, get the model, of, you can uh, design the Simulink model for the project called smart water supply system here some small introduction about smart water supply systems here there are three pumping stations are positioned at the different heights relative to a reference plane section station one located at 45 meters station two located at 25 meters and station three is located at 30 meters this is an assumption all three pumping stations are responsible for pumping water into the tank which is situated at 61 meters above the reference plane in this model, each pumping station comprises a tank, two centrifugal pumps installed in parallel and prime mover rotating at 1700 rpm, that is the revolutions per minute. The next one is, the tanks are assumed to have sufficiently large capacity maintaining a nearly constant fluid level. Therefore, they can be modeled using the constant head tank block. Then, and the initial value, initial value of the water, we can set, uh, set as 100 cubic meters by using the interactive uh, MATLAB building built-in uh, blocks are there so let us see uh, at the during that time of simulation where we can change the value in initial value of the water and how to set to 100 cubic meter the characteristic of the centrifugal fuel pumps are specified using lookup tables which define the pump performance parameters based on the operating conditions each pumping station is equipped with a tank two parallel installed centrifugal pumps and a prime mover operating at 1700 revolution per minute. We define the characteristic of pumps using lookup tables which capture the performance under different operating conditions. The simulation objective is to determine the steady state flow rates and the pressures in the system. Here, to, uh, you know, the objective of this uh, project is to determine the steady state flow rate and we can monitor and control the pressures of the system. To achieve this, the pipe, uh, pipes, pipes in the system are modeled using the resistive pipe LP block. It is available in um, Simulink, Simulink MATLAB Simulink um, model sim, um, library browser. Here you can choose Simscape Fluid Toolbox. Here you can get this resistive pipe LP block which simulates the hydraulic resistance. However, there is uh, no system dynamics are considered in this particular example. Only we are uh, going to simulate with hydraulic resistance. Here one small subsystem says each, each and each and uh, every pump station has subsystems having the speed up pump. Speed up pump, what is the, uh, here you, you need to give the velocity. This is a velocity source pump and this also another speed pump. Here both of them all are using pump, pump and pipes model, models are designed as a subsystem for each and every step pump station. There are three pump stations are there, pump station one, two, three and four tank, st tank stations are there. Here, after uh, modeling and design design of this smart water supply system, here we can get this simulation output result by using Simscape logging. Here you can see the pump station two, pump station three. What is the height? Uh, what is the height? Height of 40, 40 meter, 45 meter, and 60 meter, and pump station four, pump stations output. You see, it shows the pressure pressure values. And the smart water supply system. Here also, so one more uh, scope is available here. Here you can see the pressure and also the mass flow rate for, for this each and every point at each and every node. There are four nodes are considered for this measuring this volume of the water in that particular tank. 
now let us see the simulation these are same simple simulic model of this water smart water supply system here you, you need to plot the pressures these are the plot the pressures at the four different networks for that you need to see the code here here is, this is the codes for to plot the plot between pressure at each node in the sub water supply system is the first one is a generate simulation result here the, there are a get the simulation result what are the values pa values pressure values at pa1 is a pipe 1 pa1b pipe series there is there are there are the series values are shown here this is the pump station 1 60 meter pump station 2 40 meter and pump station 3 is 45 meter in this in this plot shows the node pressures at in descending order these are the script you need to see see this one and the next one here tank station 1 tank station 2 tank station 3 tank station 4 that is what where, what is where, where, where you can available in this tank station 1 is one side one side of block parameters called tank station 1 here you need to set this pressurization and fluid level and inlet pipe diameter and all the things are there here you need to set the initial targets and nominal values value of k okay the same thing water properties in this water properties part there is available in hydraulic fluid matlab simile simscape hydraulic and the simscape fluid toolbox here the water properties are available here here you can see the you can change the values for example hydraulic fluid index I am for this example we need to take water so that I am taking water here you, are, you, you can use gasoline or diesel fuel jet fuel depending upon your requirement you can change the fluid fluid index here in this way in this in this way section we are setting up water here also you can set the system temperature you can set the amount of trapped air and viscosity and pressure below the absolute zero and what is the fluid properties are there in this fluid properties if it is uh, uh, not with water means you have gas line or any other uh, hydraulic fluid index you can set this value here you need to say set the fluid properties also these are the water fluid water pro fluid properties and what is pump station one what is the pump station one so subsystem one in the subsystem already discussed we need you need to give the input values for each and every pump here is the velocity source uh, this one is the uh, constant value 1700 cubic meter we are set here double click on that here you need to set the values constant values we are uh, we have set the values are 1700 cubic meter the same procedure same way for uh, pump station 2 and pump station 3 okay these are the pipes are available in simscape fluid toolbox here you need to set the pipe circular cross section here also you can mention circular pipe circular one circular or it may be non-circular you, you need to give the uh, internal diameters and uh, what is the lambda friction constant and pipe length and the vertical position is a basic pro 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 parameters and next one is a vertical position this is a port a port b that is where you can see these are port a these are port b this one here itself you need to give the uh, elevation with respect to the reference plane and port b with the elevation you need to give the elevation with respect to port a in this manner we have to give the vertical position and basic parameters value and the initial target values what is the nominal values that is nominal values so pressure drops from a port a to port b or flow rate from port a to port b in this manner you can set the block parameters for each and every pipe that's all this is the scope available when the, when you run this model you can see the output like this now you can set the we can see the uh, uh, yeah, some simscape uh, uh, result means we double click on that we can get this output uh, like this here here this is the simscape uh, result explorer output here we can set we can plot the pressures at the four nodes these are you can see this one pumping station 2 3 1 and 40 and 45 meters values here pressures pressure at supply system nodes there are four nodes are uh, identified for two for, for pa1 pa2 pa3 pa4 here you can see the outputs for pa1 pa2 pa3 pa4 the same thing with this simulic model uh, interactive simscape result explorer you can see each and every node uh, node of this one these are all the things for pipe 1 pipe 2 pipe 6 and uh, some session 1 to 3 and taxation 1 to 4 and volumes and water properties also you can see now there is a pipe 6 flow rate this one pipe 6 flow rate you can see the values here 
and pressure drop what is the pressure drop you can see and value is a value and water properties water properties of this one is both pressure and mass flow state steady state steady state flow rate in this way you can measure you can also export the ex export this one both uh, flow rate and pressure pressure drop you can plot with this figure here also you can extract the figure and also you can make this code export the data otherwise you can give the export import data by based on the data you can see uh, analyze this output by using this interactive simscape result explorer available in this matlab simlink i hope um, this is a plot type also you can see uh, line the line plot type or staircase here itself if you select staircase means we are getting a staircase plot type and stem means we can get the stem same plot this is a stem, um, st stem plot a staircase in this manner you can plot the interactive plot and also uh, show legends auto values always show the legends are there p and p values pressure values in this manner you can also export the figure in this way also you save save us the matla figure or any type of images jpeg or tiff tiff image any type of image you can share and also you can you can generate the code for this particular plot now after that you can create the code here you can see now now i am, I am creating the auto generated matlab code here no need of any programming knowledge for to uh, generate the code i hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching thank you if you are new new uh, viewer of my channel means kindly subscribe my channel is there this project in this uh, projects available in um, my youtube channel description box kindly use it for educational and study purpose thanks for watching thank you